Well, usually we would gather in the library for prayer to close our sessions. Sometimes we would take advantage of gathering in the Eucharistic Chapel, which is adjacent to the parish offices, to sit quietly and to pray. And this would be one of those occasions where we recognize a special day in the church, and that would be the presentation of the Lord on February the 2nd, next Tuesday. That is a day that falls 40 days after Christmas, uh, sometimes called Candlemas also, and it's a day of blessing of candles, of recognizing that Jesus came into the world as the light of the world to be received by all of us. In your package, you should have a small manila envelope and in that manila envelope, there is a little prayer service. And so together we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death, before he had seen the Messiah of the Lord. He came in the spirit and into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all peoples, a light for, revela for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. And from Psalm 27, we pray, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? And to remind us the rest of this evening that Jesus is the light of the world, that he does guide us, that he does help to shatter the darkness. Take your glow stick that's in the packet, break it, activate it, and then make it with the connections and use the bracelet to help guide us through the night and serve as a simple reminder tonight of the love of Jesus and the light of the world. And we close in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit.